Christmas to all gospel movie fans all over the world. May the joy of the season be ours forever in Jesus' name. You're welcome to this special end of the year fan talk edition where I'll be letting you know my top five, oh, sorry, top eight gospel movie soundtracks in 2020. Of course, initially I had planned for five, but then I found eight that I really liked. My major consideration for this list is the way the songs are creatively and meaningfully used in their respective movies as well as how melodious they are. Another thing to note is that since no titles were provided for some of these songs in the closing credits of their movies, I'll be giving them mine. This is something that I'll later address in a video in the new year by God's grace. So let the countdown begin. Number 8. Reverse Fall in the movie Reverse Fall. This song performed by Samuela introduces and ends the web series with the same name from the Winlows. The meaning of the song is best gotten in the context of the movie and it gives the episodes a cool vibe that would make you feel that what you're about to watch would be interesting. Take a listen. <laughs> Number 7, Agbara Po in Kembe Sonu Season 2. After all the display of power in the movie, this song comes in at the end credits. It's special because the musical style used for it is mainly for English songs. So to see the filmmakers adopt it for the Yoruba language was quite nice. Take a listen. New Dawn in Abattoir New Dawn is the opening tune for the Abattoir series. I think it's the way it introduces this very special series that makes it memorable for us. Whenever you think of the Abattoir episodes, that's the song that you'll be humming. Take a listen. Hey, uh. Hey, uh. Number five, Oh My Child from Shaku's Part 2. I fell in love with this song in the first part of Shaku's. In its sequel, it's played once again at the end credits and my favorite part is actually from the bridge to the end. 
Take a listen. Number four, I will love in my mother-in-law. I remember watching how this movie began and wondering the reason for the series format introduction of characters. But when I heard the chorus, I will love, as the title popped up on screen, I knew that I would love this movie. This tune was also put to good effect in the closing scenes where we witnessed things turn around for Tife and Lola. Take a listen. This is a message for you, my brother And also a message for you, my sister The greatest commandment of all is to love It's to love the God kind of love It may be your own brother And you may not be related whether it's your father-in-law or your mother-in-law No matter who it is Just say I will love, I will love Jesus has taught me to love, I will love I will love His own people, I will love everybody Jesus taught me to love, I will love Number three, On Strike, from the movie On Strike. This song is so special because when the strands of the plot of the movie come together, it comes in and drives home the message of the movie. It's also quite personal and emotional. Take a listen. <laughs> I put myself, I put myself for you, love. I told my will, I told my will was your will, love. Not knowing that my game was not your game, my will was not your will, love.
Next, number two, Erase from the movie One Street, One Sound. This song was really technically used in a source as its instrumental had been playing in the background and then a dying man joined in with the lyrics. You know, that was a very emotional and profound point in the movie. Afterwards, it was professionally taken at the end credits. It's a song whose subject matter every Christian should pray about. Take a listen. <laughs> gospel movie soundtrack in 2020 is let me give you a clue it's from the train can you guess which it is all right let me give you another clue it was first sung in agbarala and then later resung sung by j mikey i'm sure you know what it is by now yes my number one gospel movie soundtrack in the year 2020 is Oru Jesu, the acoustic version. If you're talking about the application of this song in the movie, it's used in two meaningful and inspiring places. First is my favorite and best shot and scene of movies this year. Wow, I love this place so much. And then in the place where the Mount Zion Faith Ministries were told to continue with their drama ministration, even though they had been told earlier that they would only use a certain number of minutes. I actually found the full track of the song on YouTube and it's a short one, so you won't easily get enough of it. Enough talk, enjoy. Ah, 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 ah,
those are my top gospel movie soundtracks in 2020. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Which ones are your favorite? Are there those that you enjoyed that are not on this list? Please let me know in the comment section below. I'll leave the links in the description section to the songs that can be found as single tracks. Watch out for our Bedway Season 4, Episode 2, coming out on Sunday, December 27, 2020, on DMB YouTube channel, as well as my top 10 gospel movies in 2020, coming up later that day. Till that video, stay blessed. Merry Christmas.